Lamar Soup Campbell has played an important role in Chicago Bears football operations since 2017. His title, Director of Player Engagement. His job, building powerful relationships, helping men grow on and off the field. Campbell's Chunky Soup honored Soup as a hero in the community. Okay, toughest question of the day. Where did your nickname Soup come from? <laughs> so Campbell, obviously last name, um, but it didn't really stick till I got to the University of Wisconsin. And uh, A.D. Alvarez was my head coach at the time. And I don't think he knew my name yet as a freshman. I think the first thing that came out was Soup and it kind of stuck ever since my collegiate days. And that's kind of where it stuck for me in the uh, football world. You have a lot of players to keep track of. How do you cater to everyone's individual needs? Begin to know them as a person, right? Some guys like to talk on the phone. Some guys like to text. Some guys like to FaceTime. And then through time, you build those honest relationships. So one of the conversations I always have with my players is, what is their why and why do they play this game? It's gone, baby. Have a day, all right? The goal is to really dig deep. Like, do you love football? Why do you love this game? Do you understand what this game can be a platform for you to do? So I always try to remind them that they are more than just a football player. And once they find that person outside the helmet, that's really when their football career really takes off. Snap is back to Teddy Bridgewater. Slides to the left. Tries to check the ball, and he's thrown down the end zone. Got to be a safety. Got to be below Nichols. One player whose career took off this past season is Bears defensive lineman Bilal Nichols, a native of Soup's hometown. Phenomenal young man, and even Ronnell Williams. You know, all three of us are from Chester, Pennsylvania, and all of us here in Chicago, right? So I'm proud of Bilal, what he's been able to accomplish on the field. That really fills me up every day to watch that. We actually have a video message being sent to you right now that we want you to check out. Take a look. <laughs> oh, y'all got me with this one. Sue, what's up? What's going on, man? First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for everything you've done for my teammates. Thank you for everything you've done for this organization. Uh, words can't really explain how much you mean to us. And uh, I just want you to know, like, I wouldn't be able to make it this far without you. Wow. Proud of that young man. Proud of that young man. Like I said, I hope he learns from me as much as I learn from him every day. And our goal is to win championships together. And that means a lot to me. I appreciate you guys for doing that. This is a busy time of year for you with a new rookie class coming in. You adapt your program each year for the incoming players, but especially after the events of this past year, how is that going to change? When you engage men outside the building on what matters to them, I truly, truly believe that they become better players on the field. And I think what you saw with George Floyd was that we were prepared. We had a lot of work to do. It was a highly emotional place for a lot of us and something that we're still dealing with with the right incident in Minnesota right now. Today's Nationals Voter Registration Day. Just want to give you guys a reminder to go out and vote. Bear down. As you know, we were the first team this year to actually have a voting sign up. We got out in the streets of Chicago and peacefully protested. So a lot of my players became educated, they became engaged, and they became activated. Let's dominate, bro. Right, let's we're going to dominate from start to finish, bro. Finish. All day, let's go. Hey, let's go. To make the playoffs amongst the pandemic, amongst the uh, fight against racism that we had. I mean, I, my hat is really off to the organization and my players in that locker room dealing with all those things off the field. So when we talk about engagement, we talk about the program, we talk about the character, those are things you build. So when those type of things happen, you still have a chance to win on Sunday. When your players come to you wanting to serve Chicagoland youth, how do you encourage them to get involved? And is there a specific organization that you've enjoyed being part of? Yes, we've done boys and girls work uh, with, with the Boys and Girls Club in uh, Kenosha after the incident with Jacob Blake. We were able to have a viewing party for our Tampa Bay game last year and was able to send food up and some things up for those kids there because it's tough on the young kids right now. For all the kids in Kenosha, make sure you stay strong, keep you guys' heads up. Whatever you guys want to accomplish in life, you can do that. Make sure you stay safe and always wear your mask. This generation may be defined by how they handle COVID and now that we're coming out of it, we're still going to continue to be a support system from them, especially with Kenosha being right down the road. They're such a great organization, of course, serving a meal every day it's open. And mm -hmm. as a thank you for being a champion of the Bears organization, Campbell's Chunky Soup is going to make a soup donation to the Boys and Girls Club of Kenosha on your behalf.
Well, I guess the first thing I'd like to say is, you know, thank you uh, to Campbell Chunky for me being recognized. But like any champion, I didn't get here alone. While I humbly accept this championship, I want to uh, dedicate this to everybody that I work with day in and day out because we do everything as a team here. And I want to give everybody else their love as well.